We're not really trained Kathavajiks, we're just normal people like you. But um, we've asked the Sad Sangat De Agya to talk in English and to talk about Gunad Devji's Bani. We're just going to go through as we do every week with a bit of Jabji Sad. And um, everything we do is recorded and is put onto our YouTube channel. They, you can always ask if your kids are interested. They can go onto the YouTube channel, it's very simple. YouTube.com forward slash basics of Sikhi. Just one word, Sikhi with an I at the end. Basics of Sikhi. And we have talks in English, just simple talks. Um, and also, we have the longer Kirtan Katha sessions that we're having in the Gurdwara today. Um, now, obviously, we're going to make mistakes, so please bear with us and forgive us for what we mistakes we will make. Um, last week, we tried to go through um, the Hukmi body. Hukmi Hovan our God. And this week, we're going to focus on the last couple of lines from that. Because uh, somebody sent me a link recently for some Katha by Sant Maskinji. And they were doing Katha of Jabji Sag. And the first 14 parts were about 50 minutes each. And they'd only just got to Karta Purk from Ekom So it's 15. So obviously, we don't have the Gyan of Sant Maskinji at all, so we can't talk for that long, but we want to discuss in this week a little bit more detail what Maharaj means by homing. What is homing? And also related to hukam. What is hukam? What is homing? And then we'll talk about nam. But before we start, just to get the sun in a bit of mood and for us to feel Maharaj close to us, we're just going to do a little bit of Simran of Wai Guru Mantra and, uh, and then after that we'll start with um, the Shabbat Oh, I 
He's telling us, I'm going to tell you what Hukam is. And then he goes to Hukam, and we did a Katha of Hukam last week. But at the last of it, Mara says, Nanak Hukme Je Buje Ta Home Kehe Na Koi. Mara says, If we understand Hukam, Nanak says, If we understand Hukam, then our Home will not speak. It's very deep philosophy, Home. And in Sikhi, we say there's five. There's five things inside us that are our enemies. Imagine you walk around all day and you've got five thieves robbing you. You know, like you're walking along, there's somebody picking money out of your pocket. They're just cutting your jib. They're just stealing from us. And they're called your calm, close, love, more, and ahamkar. I go to them, calm is your lust. Then, crowd is our anger. Then, love is our attach, our greed. Then moho is our attachment. People think that's a bit funny, attachment. What's wrong with attachment? We have family, we have friends. We love to love our family. We tell you kids you should love your parents. But even that moho, Mala says, it's quite Buddhist in many ways. Mala says even moho is a bit of a disease that's going to get you. And the worst and the strongest one, obviously, aham God. But beyond those five, there's something that Mara says is homin. And it's deeper than those five. Because as Guru Ji goes into Asadiva, he explains further, he talks about homin being the driving force for everything in our life. These five evils, they stem from homin. And, you know, it's like, if we don't talk about homin, we're actually selling Sikhi very short. Because all we're saying is, it's a moral system. Don't be proud. Don't be uh, lustful. Don't be angry. Uh, don't be attached to people to do the wrong thing. And it talks again and again about morality. And Mara says, yes, we need more morality. That Guru Gurbani says, Santa ka marag taram ki pori ko vadpa ki pai. It's lucky people that can walk on the path of morality. However, to go into the deeper spirituality that Mara is talking about, He's talking about homi be something which is basically a sense of I, I. So in Punjabi, we say hom. Hom means I. Hom vari ho varne kurban tere na So it's saying me, hom. Then there's another word, man. And then man, man is me, me. Yeah? So hom and man are both I and I. Now what Maharaj is really saying in this is this is your sense of being you. This is a sense of not being one with Vaheguru, but being separate from Vaheguru. Hame effectively is dividing us from our Creator. And you might think, well, I'm not part of Vaheguru. I'm me. That's your Hame. <laughs> I, I know that. I think I'm me. When something hurts me, I get hurt. Might is saying, what is that I that gets hurt? So, there's a little story about this. Because I was told to make, make sure I include Saranta as a teacher. I've been told off for not putting enough stories in. So there's a story about this, it's quite nice. Guru Nanak Dev Ji, he was traveling, he traveled a lot. In history, Guru Nanak Dev Ji is the second most traveled person ever. First one was some other guy, but Maharaj is second. And when he was traveling, he went down south and he met an emperor, a king. 
And the king heard there was a holy man that came to his town. He said, let's test this guy. And basically he sent people to Gunan Devji. First he sent them some beautiful women. See if we tempted with women. Maharaj called them all sisters. They got embarrassed and they went back. The second time he sent people with money to tempt him. Gunan Devji just laughed at the money. He said, I don't want to It's nothing to me. And in Gurbani, Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji says that the person who sees gold and iron as the same, that person has achieved a level of spirituality. Because gold is really something that we give it value. It's not valuable in itself. We give it value. If we didn't value it, it'd be worth nothing. And then, what, what do we value? We value the kada. Sarabroda kada. We value that more than we value a gold kada. See, a Sikh wouldn't want to lose his kada. You can take gold off him, but they've got to leave my kakar on me. If you had a choice of a gold ring and a kada, a Khalsa would say, take my gold ring, leave my kada. You see? That's a beautiful value that we place upon this. Now, at this point, the Raja said, was a bit intrigued. He said, who is this guy turning down women in gold? So he went to him. They had a long discussion. And this Raja says, I'm, you are amazing. What can I give you as a reward? The Guru says, what can you give me? Maharaj asked him. He said, I give you, I give you all the wealth I have. Maharaj says, but that's not yours to give. When you die, someone else is going to have it. If you think about what we collect now, our houses, our money, can we keep it? No. We have to leave it behind. And the government taxes it as well. Sad fact. But what do we have to give? He said, what do you have to give me? Because I'll give you my, all my money. He said, it's not going to go with you. What's yours to give? He says, I'll give you my kingdom. My, I'll make you the Raja. My says, oh, that's not yours to give as well. You have to com commit to the rules of being a king. The queen, our British queen, she's, we're celebrating, you know, people are celebrating her thing. Her biggest problem is, who does she give her Raj to? She doesn't really want to give it to Charles. And the younger ones are too young. And if she breaks that rule of succession, it will look bad for the monarchy. She can't jump a generation. The rules are the rules. Yeah? So she has to stick by the rules and Charles has to get the succession. So the rules of the kingdom is, you have to give it to your sons. So he said, that's not yours to give. So he said to Maharaj, well, what do I have? What can I give you? What? I don't, I don't, I, 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 he was like, he said, I, I don't know what to give you. Maharaj says, give me this eye. He said, I, 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 give me that I. He said, I don't understand. He goes, give me you. And then he understood. He says, become a Sikh. Give me everything. Last week, you've seen that line again. Maharaj said to us, how do I find this Wahiguru? And the first line was, Tana mana tana sab sant gurko. It just said, Tana mana tana sab sant gurko. Give your mind, your body, and all your wealth to your Guru. But actually, the deepest thing is this I. All of that is basically what you hold on to as your existence. And Maharaj says, Tana mana tana sab saampa Tana mana tana sab teach us how we can lose that sense of me, me, me. And how we can achieve the greatness that is promised to us. The greatness is 
to become one with Wahiguru. What an amazing opportunity we have. The creator of the entire world, who made all the galaxies and all the planets, is open to us. And when we look at Hukum, when we studied through it last week, Hukumi Hovan Akar, Hukum Nakahe Ajai, Hukumi Hovan Ajir, Hukum Mele Vadiai, Hukumi Uttam Nietzsche, Hukum Lik Duk Sukh Paya, Ikna Hukumi Baksis, Ik Hukumi Sada Pavaya, Hukum Andar Sabko, Bahar Hukum Nakoe. नानक हुक में जे बुझे ता होम में कहे ना कोई महाराज इस टेलिंग अस इस टू वेज ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग हुकम द फर्स्ट वे इस दिस इस वेरी सिंपल व्हेन यू डू समथिंग रॉंग देन रॉंग थिंग्स विल हैपन टू यू इस अ सिस्टम द सिस्टम इस बिल्ड दिस वे जैसा बीजे सोलने कर्म ए हुकित I forgot, I got that line wrong. I know, sorry. Karam Sandara. Kid. So this world is like, when you sow something, so you shall reap. As I say in the Bible, yeah? As you sow, so shall you reap. If you beat, if you beat bhikkhu, if you put poison into the ground, you're going to get poison back. And Maharaj laughs at us. He says, Bije bhikkh mange amrit. Veko loka eho vidan. Look at this amazing thing. Sorry, I'm, I'm bound to make a mistake, sorry. Mara says basically, look at this funny thing that the guy is putting poison into the ground but he's expecting Amrit. So when we say hukum, it's a bit like physics. Yeah? In physics, before, 100 years ago, 200 years ago, people didn't understand why certain things happened. Like they tried to make a plane but it fell apart. They went up and they crashed and died because they didn't understand the laws of physics. Nowadays, we understand the laws of physics a bit more. And physics tells us, if you build something not the right way, the stress won't be able to be handled by the G-forces and it will crash. Yeah? So before they even do it, they do the physics of it, they do the risk management, and they project forwards what's going to happen. Yeah? Anybody studying physics will understand that. Then they say, you know what, this is not going to work, it's not strong enough. Before it even crashes, they can tell you it's not going to work. But there's also laws of the world that we don't know about. And Guru Dev Ji is here to teach us those laws. So Hukam can be described as the laws. The world is arranged by Vaheguru. It's a system. And sometimes we don't know the rules of the system. So then we do the wrong thing and then it gets us. We put, big, we put poison into the ground and then later on we get poisoned back and then we cry about it. See? So Mala says, don't do it. Listen, you're not going to get anything good from this. But there's also a hukum that is given to us as human beings. This is where we understand what our role in life is. If we're going to swim on this ocean and the water is going this way, if we start swimming backwards, we're not going to go very far. Yeah? So if we flow along with the hukum, hukum rajai chalna, it will be much easier for us. So the hukum comes down to understanding what is our hukum? What is the point of a human life? You see? And Maharaj tells us that in Rehra Asad as well. And we're going to read, you know, we read it every day. It says, Pahi parafat manuk de huriyam. And then, Gopind milan ki ehe teri bariyam. It's a system. We're part of that system. As a human being, Maharaj is telling us, we have a joint, a role to find Vahiguru. That's our job. It's our body. It's not like an opportunity that you can lose. It's a body. It's your turn. So it's more like a hukum. That is part of our hukum as well. Otherwise, we're not going to get, at the end of it, we're not going to have a good time. We're going to lose the value of this life. Then there's another Shabbat, Mara says. Eko naam hukum hai. So even naam, Wahiguru Simran, is a hukum. It's understanding how the world works. Now, there's another part of understanding the same Shabbat, hukum. And this kills our homie a little bit as well. Mara says that everything is done by Wahiguru. So on the one side, what we do will get us. See you know? Then there's another side which is the opposite of that, which means that nothing is in our control. 
As we go up, as we go down, it's also about what we can do. In a deep, deep Godakya, if you could say it's a bit of a magic, it's a bit of a surprising dilemma, that on the one side, Maharaj tells us that we have no strength to do anything. And the other side, Maharaj tells us that everything is in your hands. If you do something wrong, you'll suffer. If you do something right, you'll get it. What we want to do is understand what is this confusion? What's going on here? So to understand that, we need to understand Bukum and understand Homi. So we're going to go into Asadiwad to explain that to us a little bit. And Asadiwad, Guru Nanak Dev Ji and then Guru Angad Dev Ji talk about Homi. And they explain to us a little bit more to we understand what is this really crucial thing? This Homi is dividing us from our Creator. It's dividing me, it's dividing you. So we're going to go through Hukum and Homi from Asadiwa. By side we'll find it. The first line. Homvich Aya, Homvich Gaya. So it starts from Mara says, Look, Homvich Aya, Homvich Gaya. You've come in Homi. You came onto this earth and you became a, a person. Your parents told you, you. You said me. <laughs> so your homage started then. Homage ayah. And then you died. You said, oh, I died. Everybody said, he died. Mother says, who died? We are part of Wahi Guru. Who lived, who died? Homage ayah, homage gaya. And then homage jamia, homage numa. Same thing. Mother says, you, you were born and you died in homage. you say I took then he says look even when you earn everything you do is in homing even your satyar and kuriyar if you done something purified you said I got purified and then he said oh I done something bad Mara says even your pap pun vichar you sit there thinking have I done the right thing have I done the right thing have I done the good thing have I done the bad thing all this vichar also is in homing everything we're trapped in it is so deep it's much deeper than a panjurog and even in Gurbani he says that Guru, Guruji's blessed me that with my Aso Gun Mero Prabhji Keen 
ਪੰਜ ਦੋਖ ਅਹੰ ਦਰੋਗ ਇਸ ਤੰਤੇ ਸਗਲ ਦੂਰ ਕੀ ਹੈ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਬਲੈਸਡ ਮੀ ਵਿਦ ਸਚ ਅਮੇਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਪਾਵਰ ਥੈਟ ਦੀਸ ਫਾਈਵ ਈਵਲਸ ਆ ਆ ਹੈਵ ਹੀ ਡਿਸਟਰੋਇਡ ਥੈਮ ਬਟ ਆਲਸੋ ਥਿਸ ਡੀਪਸ ਰੋਗ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਸੇ ਕਿ ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਅੰਗਦ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਐਕਸਪਲੇਨਸ ਯਰ ਬੇ ਮੋਰ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਐਕਸਪਲੇਨਸ ਟੂ ਅਸ ਈਵਨ ਹਾਊ ਮੇ ਦੀ ਸੇਮ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਵੀ ਆਸਕਿੰਗ ਨਾਓ ਹੀ ਗਿਵਸ ਈਵਨ ਡੀਪਰ ਕੁਐਸਚਨਸ ਬਟ ਈਵਨ ਥਿਸ ਆਈਡੀਆ ਆਫ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਵਾਸ਼ਡ ਐਂਡ ਕਲੀਨ ਆਫ ਲਾਫਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਕ੍ਰਾਈਂਗ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਇਜ਼ ਇਨ ਹਾਊ ਮੇ then what i says look that home buje ta dar suje if we understood home we would understand the door of salvation this gurudwara is here to give us mukti guru is here as a gateway it's a door if we understood home we would understood the door to salvation home kar kar jant upaya we are all through home and then last thing he says gyan vihuna kat kat luje even it is like me we spend our whole life trying to work out what is homi because we haven't got gyan and that i haven't got gyan what are you saying look listen to me i'll teach you gyan so then he says nanak hukmi likhya lek nanak says everything is written in the hukum and we'll come back to this in a little while again how does it relate to hukum let's listen to now guru angad dev ji talking about homi again ਹਮ ਹਾਜਤ ਹੈ ਹਮ ਕਰਮ ਕਮਾ we could ask ourselves where is this home coming from how will it go how can i get free of it home deer drog hai daru bhi isma the deepest poison the deepest disease that we have is home even when we do good things home is there even in seva home is there everything we're doing is mara saying is with home and the answer is given you see if we do seva and we sing bani and we do part and we do all the good things that guru is telling us they're perfect we should do them as much as we can do do the right thing but we have to know the enemy before we can fight the enemy yeah and mara is telling us here is your deepest enemy your biggest enemy is this sense of i and it says in gurbani tu tu karta tu hua mujh pe rehana hum my hum my ho then stay in me i became you by saying you and so pai gudasi tells us also that wahe guru gur mantar hai jap ho me koi at the end of this line gur shabad is a line that comes up it says 
महाराज इस दिवस कृपा करे जे आपनी ता गुर का शब्द कमाही वी हैव टू अर्न द शब्द एंड व्हाट इज अ गुरु शब्द इज वाहे गुरु वाहे गुरु गुर मंत्र है दैट गुर शब्द एंड गुर मंत्र इज द सेम थिंग कुछ पाई गुदास योर से सेस पौन गुरु गुर शब्द है वाहे गुरु गुर शब्द सुनाया दैट दिस इज द शब्द the guru shabad is wahe guru is the deepest mantra given to us and this mantra of wahe guru is going to kill our home because he says wahe guru gur mantra hai jab home khoi you want to lose your home he's telling us do jab of wahe guru mantra so what we really want to understand is that there is a battle going on you have two enemies you have your five enemies they're going to fight you anyway to stop you doing spirituality but the deepest enemy maras tells us we have is this sense of i and how do we lose that i the path given to us is by guru shabad of doing mantra of wahe guru mantra for a sikh we should do wahe guru mantra if you want to do if you are a muslim you can do any mantra you want if you are a christian you can do any mantra you want but for a sikh we should do wahe guru mantra and Maras tells us many ways of doing this mantra. We won't go into it. There's a video on YouTube. You can talk about it. But we want to understand the relationship between hukum and homi and naam. Now let's get to naam. It's a beautiful shabad in Gurbani. I have to just find it. Maras says, "That homi and naam are naal virudh hai. Homi, naam are." नाल विरुद्ध है दोए न वस्यो एक थाए सॉरी इज इट कम होमे नावे नाल विरुद्ध है दोए न वसे है एक थाए पर सब होपली यू फाइंड इट बट द फर्स्ट वन इज मोर इज होमे वी अंडरस्टैंड इट इन पंजाबी इट्स वेरी सिंपल पंजाबी बिकॉज़ यू नो गुरु अर्जुन देव जी ही गुरु अमरदास जी He writes in very simple Punjabi, and even Anand Sahib is in very simple Punjabi. The whole Anand Sahib I'm talking about, not just the Chhe Pauriya. Very simple Punjabi. And Mana says, "Look, Hame Nawe Naal Virudh hai. Hame and Naam are opposed to each other. Doi na vase ek thay. So you have a cup. Let's say this is your panda. You know, panda paava mritti tal. This is the panda that we are. Either you can have I in here, I I, or you can have Wahe Guru Wahe Guru." Now, either you say "Why Guru, Why Guru," and it goes in there, or "I, I." These are the two problems. Only two things can sit in this. Only one thing can sit there: either "Nam" or "Hami." And for a Sikh, we're trying to get "Nam." That's why we say "Sakta Nam." Nam is the only way to Sakta. To become Ikku with that Why Guru, we have to have Nam. And the line says, "Hami which Ham which is Seva na Hovi ta man birtha jai." In Ego, nishkam, even that ego, we can't do seva. It doesn't, it doesn't go any good to us. So even doing seva and saying I did seva has actually been bad for us. We should have said you did seva. Kir kirpa, that's the kirpa we get seva. And later on, Maharaj goes through this. Listen, har chet man mere tu gurka shabad kamai. I think that line should be up there. If it's not, what it says is, oh my mind. Think of Wahe Guru. Onu chet kar Guru ka shabd kamai. Earn the Guru shabd. This kamai. You know, like I tell my little boy, I tell him, listen, you can have Tesco money, or you can have Wahe Guru money. Right? Wahe Guru money you can't spend in Tesco's, but it's gonna go with you. And Tesco money don't go nowhere with you. It stays behind, and you leave it to your kids, or you spend it, or whatever you've eaten it, but it doesn't go with you. So Maharaj is telling us, earn. And how do we earn Wahe Guru money? We earn it by saying Wahe Guru. Later on, Mona says, "Home sab sirir hai, home upat hoy." You are born through home, and then home bata gubar hai, home which bujh na sakhe koi. No one can understand anything in home. It's so deep. It's such a big darkness. We can't even understand it. When we started this uh, katha, the shabad I read was. जे सो चंदा उगवे सूरज चढ़े हजार एते चान न होंदिया 
गुर बिन कोर अंतार मारा सेस इवन इफ देर वाज अ हंड्रेड सन्स एंड अ थाउजेंड मून्स जे सो नो ऑल द वे राउंड इवन देर वाज अ हंड्रेड मून्स एंड अ थाउजेंड सन्स विदाउट वाहि गुरु विदाउट गुरु इट बी कंप्लीट डार्कनेस वी थिंक होल्ड ऑन वो बी डार्कनेस इफ देर वाज अ हंड्रेड मून्स एंड अ थाउजेंड सन्स मारा सेस देर वुड बी कंप्लीट डार्कनेस बिकॉज़ यू वुड हैव अंडरस्टूड व्हाट यू आर हियर फॉर the real point of life home which jio band hai in home the soul is in bondage naam na vase mane aaye the naam doesn't come and sit inside us the maras says nanak satgur mila milli hai home gayi ta sach vasya man aaye nanak says by me in the satguru when i found my satguru then home is like leaving my body and then wahi guru came and sat inside me that's how amazing our guru is that's why we say bale hari gure apne deo hari sadwar jin manas te dev te kiye kart na lagi var he made human beings into demigods they were walking around with wahi guru inside them in this century and even now there are mahapuriks mahapuriks so great if you just sit in their sangat You get blessed. Yesterday I went to a wedding. We did Simran. I was like, wow, amazing Simran today. <laughs> Then we found out later on there was two Mahapurus in that sangat. They came and they blessed the bride, the 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 groom. Even when they're not there, they're blessing the whole sangat. Continually they're blessing the sangat. And that's the amazing ability of someone who's doing now. They bless everybody around them. Then Mara sach kamave sach rahe sachche sev samay. When we start practicing truth, when we start living this truth, then we start earning and becoming one with that Wahi Guru. We get absorbed in that Wahi Guru. We're going to sing a shabad now, and it talks about how great those Guru Sikhs are. We should look for their sangat who are doing bhakti. Not talking about finding every flana baba out there. Look for the people that follow Guru Granth Sahib Ji, because Guru Granth Sahib Ji is such a pasha to us. So let's find those Guru Sikhs who live in Sikhi. who follow gurbani who earn gurbani and let's sing their mahima their praises and this is a beautiful shabad that guruji tells us again about how we can kill our homi and the first line is se gur sikh tan tan Those good six, those good six are tan and tan. They're amazing. They're blessed. They're great. Who are those six? The mother says are blessed. Jini guru upde suya har kan. Those good six who listen to the guru's updes with their ears. What does guru teach us about har? Guru teaches about har. He's here of the Jola, her darge ka basit. You know, like right now, we're listening to Gurbani, we're listening to Guru's words. He's teaching us, and they say in Shabad it says in Gurbani says, "Jaisa sat Guru sunida, taiso he may deed." When we come into Gurbani, into Sikhi, we hear talks about Wahi Guru. Jaisa sat Guru sunida. As I heard of that Wahi Guru, then when I opened my eyes and I saw him, he was just like that. Now I'm telling you that Guruji can bless you to to join with Wahi Guru. And not it's not just me. Gurbani is telling you again and again. You listen to it. You think, "Ha, huh, Wahi Guru, I can meet Wahi Guru through Guru." And again, holy holy, when we start earning that shabad, that it proves to be true. It proves to be true. Then we say, "That's all he may deed." Then you may think, "Yeah, how I how I heard of him, that's how he is." When we come from the outside, we think, "What is my Guru like?" Akiya, why do I bow down to Guru Granth Sahib Ji? Then holy, holy, we start learning about Guru Granth Sahib Ji and about Gurbani. Bani, Guru, Guru hai Bani. Which Bani? Amrit Sari. Never those words more true when you start drinking Amrit, when you start taking Amrit every day with Baat. Never those words more true when you start seeing the Amrit being put back inside you. And that Amrit is what Guru Ji is talking about. And then he says, Tan Tan, Se Gur Se Khutan Tan hai. 
जिन गुरु उपदेश सुनिया हर करनी इट जस्ट लिसनिंग टू दिस उपदेश ब्लेसेस ऑल ऑफ अस दैट्स व्हाई वी से थैंक्स फॉर कमिंग एंड लिसनिंग विद अस बिकॉज़ यू आर द ग्रेट संगत हु आर गोना ब्लेस अस एंड देन मोरा सेज द नेक्स्ट लाइन गुर सत गुर गुरु सत गुरु तन गुरु गुरु हु इज वन विद वाहे गुरु गुरु हु इज सत गुरु ही इज द सेम ट्रूथ दैट्स बीन अराउंड सिंस द वेरी बिगिनिंग द सेम सच आज सच जुगाद सच दैट्स द सेम सच दैट्स इन गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब जी एंड दैट गुरु इज टीचिंग अस समथिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ही इज टीचिंग अस नाम गुर सत गुर नाम दृढ़ाया वाहे गुरु गिव्स दिस नाम गुरु इज हेयर टू गिव अस नाम You know my guru he's so great when we tell about his mama aap mukat mohitare he takes me across and he gives us naam and the naam starts inside us and we have to put it in and then it keeps on going guru sat guru naam dridaya with every breath we start saying wah guru with his blessings with his kripa we can do that and then what happens if we do that then home dubda Inside us, then, the homey, the sense of me, 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 it starts to slow down. Or chup ho jana. It starts to quieten down. Even shorni hunda when you go on the water edge and it's so loud. I was reading a great book by by the Bir Singh Bir, and he talks about it's a, it's about meditation and spirituality, and it's in English. And he says the outside world was so noisy before. And he goes, when Guru blesses you with inner simran. In a simran, then slowly, slowly, the in a simran is so loud. You can be inside of a train, and it's really loud, but you can't hear the train. You can hear the simran. It's so loud. The simran becomes so loud inside us. That's Guru's blessings upon us. We can only hope for such blessings. I can only hope for such blessings. And Mara says that with this naam diraya inside us, then the homey, this noi I I, is quietens down, and dubida, duality. and also our shanka you know when we have doubts about how great gurbani is we have doubts every day is god real <laughs> am i am i is this the way am i just like following some path because i was born into this family and that's it or is this really real is guru nanak dev ji actually kal jug mein avtar is he actually the one who is come to serve me across and should i follow him with all my mind body and soul should i give him everything i own that we talked about like that raja at the beginning Should I give him my eye? Should I give my myself to him? Should I play the game of love and give him my eye? Mother says everything quiets down. You understand how great he is. Then the next line. Bin holy saints i sat with the holy people and i asked them ki what should i do because it's been har naam na mit na bin har naam mitr ko mitr nahi there's no friend apart from wahe guru's name this naam is our best friend because it takes us to wahe guru imagine having a mate who's going to take you to meet god naam is your mate you got to keep your mate really close to you So we're to keep it really close and keep saying it all the time. The Mara says that even in, in Asa Diwar, Guru says, "Ki how sh- who should I make a friend with? Everybody's gonna go. Kis naal ki che dosti sab jag chalan har. Who should I make friends with? Mara says, make friends with Nam. Make it your best mate. Invite him to your house every morning, every evening. Then the next line. Jina Guru Sikha." संतुष्ट है 
they accept this. They don't doubt it, they follow it. They earn it and they follow it. So then they change their whole life. They're not scared of changing their life anymore for their Guru because they accept it and they're manna jande. They don't just listen to it. The beginning bit was sunya. Remember sunya harkarni. Then now, oh manage. Like Jabji Sahib goes sunya, 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 then he goes manna. And this is the second part Maharaj is talking about. You go through sunya and you get to manna. And the beautiful part of manna. Then the next part. Those good Sikhs, those good Sikhs who, who earn, who do Vahiguru Simran in the way that Guruji teaches us, who earn the Shabad, who, who do their part, who do Kirtan and Seva, those people who are learning and understand the Naam, what, did they, what happens to the Mara says, Chari Chavagunuvanni, that they increase, every, their soul rises up. Basically, their soul rises up to meet with Vahiguru. And there's a line that we say at the end of Ardas. It's not a bad translation. The line we all know, we'll say it together. Nanak naam chardi kala, tere paane sarbat da pala. One meaning of that line is Nanak naam chardi kala, tere paane sarbat da pala. With your paana, everybody's pala. Yeah? That we want sarbat da pala. That's what we say. We ask for sarbat da pala. That everybody's good is achieved. But there's another way of understanding that line. And that's the lot meaning through Naam. And it says, Nanak Naam Chardi Kala. With the Naam, our spirits will go up. Our Kala Chardi. It goes up. Like, you know, people talk about the seven, uh, the yogis are always talking about. Uh, the yogis are always talking about the spirit rising and the tenth door up here. We say tenth door. Even people don't even know what tenth door is. But Mahas tells us, Dasam Dwar is up here. Then, Guru's talking about rising your soul up it's a simple spirituality the whole of hinduism buddhism they all talk about it all the yoga people talk about it it's in sikhi as well don't devalue sikhi has that same spirituality nanak says with the naam our spirit will rise up now we find the answer to everything being resolved one side we have hukum telling us what will happen on the other side we telling us that we have to do it then the thing is resolved by in your hukam, in your pana, everybody's will, everybody's best is there. When we say, I want the best for my children, why do we want the best for us as well? It's in the hukam. Don't be scared of the hukam, follow the hukam. The best thing for you will be in there as well. When we're worried about what should I do, follow the Guru's hukam, and why Guru's hukam will work out for you as well. So we're going to sing the Shabbat now, and then we'll do going to Simran. This is the beauty of Sikhi. Let's just sing the Kirtan and sing Vahiguru Simran. And that's the way to Vahiguru. <laughs>
Why Guru Simran now together. Let's ask Why Guru to bless us to earn the Guru Shabad, the Why Guru Mantra. Let's kill our homie with this weapon that we have. This is the biggest weapon Guru has given us. Why Guru? Why Guru? Even once a week, once a month, blessed will be those people who come to Guru Sangat and sing Vaheguru. And Guruji Aap Kirpa Kardini. When we become Kali and we say, I'm ready to learn, then the teacher appears. So when we start losing this idea of me, 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 let's do what Guru is telling us. And let's man, and let's earn the Shabbat that Guru has given us. The Vaheguru Guru Mantar hai, Jap Hame Khoi. And it will kill. So Saar Sangat I'm sure we made loads of mistakes in Good Morning. We're very, very sorry. And please bless us with your Sangat again. And if you, if you find there's something you can teach us, please do teach us. And next week, we're going to go through Gave and talk about what Guruji talks about in Gave. So, Bula Chukka Maaf Karniya Saad Sangat Ji, Fatah Jawaab, 
ਫਤਿਹ ਵਿੱਚ ਲੈਣਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ